While our nation turns ever more attention to renewable energy, we are in the business of delivering it. Truth is, no matter the energy source, traditional or cutting edge, there is always still the issue of getting power from point A to point B. We are the NECA IBEW Powering America team, and ours is a history of delivering energy from its source to the on-off switches of every system and device in the nation. Here's just a small sample. Snaking through Northeast Missouri is the new Mark Twain transmission line, aptly named because the line rolls through Hannibal, Missouri, once the home of the fabled American storyteller and humorist of the same name. The reason for the new 96-mile, 345 kV line is to deliver power from renewable sources back to the grid. It's a line that represents much-needed improvements in electrical reliability throughout the area. It's also a line that was hardly a breeze to make reality. Much of the work was off-road, and it didn't help that huge amounts of spring rain fought the Powering America team both on the ground and up in the air. Weather delays meant long, long days of catch-up, but owner Amarin Transmission will tell you that Nika IBEW Powering America team not only delivered a job safely and successfully, we went the extra mile to have the right impact and interaction with the area's landowners. From the rural Midwest to exploding growth of Florida we go, as the Powering America team was tasked with providing a much needed transmission upgrade in the Tampa area and surrounding Pasco County. As the Sunshine State continues to add new residents by the day, the infrastructure needs of the region expand as well. This particular task involved rebuilding not one, not two, but five 69 kV lines, as well as an additional 230 volt line. Removing old wood poles and replacing them in many cases with new 85 foot tall towers was originally going to be a de-energized job. But as the scope of work was underway, it was determined the work needed to be done on energized lines. Enter more specially trained crews, and even higher focus on safety, if that's even possible. And the NECA IBEW team delivered with flying colors. A line of 15 miles does not sound like anything special in the transmission industry, but what the Auburn Transmission Project in upstate New York lacked in length, it made up for in complexity. The project not only served two big utilities simultaneously as a joint venture, it also had to be completed under meticulous environment regulations. The 115 kV line ran through a maze of swamps and wetlands, crossed over two streams, and could not disturb the habitat. Thick underbrush had to be cleared. Trails of fabric, stone, and wood platforms had to be laid down just to get the concrete trucks to the structures. All this before the Powering America team could even begin the electrical work. End result? A brand new power line spanning centuries old swamps and streams. All done on time and under budget. And then there is the work that we do that is not part of any master plan. When 130 mile per hour winds from Hurricane Harvey and 50 inches of rain laid waste to the Texas Gulf Coast, from Corpus Christi to Louisiana, the NECA IBEW Powering America team was there to help pick up the pieces. But this time, the work was personal. Everyone who wasn't affected directly knew someone who was. There was no power, no communication, and the Powering America team went into action. This time, the work involved not just transmission or construction, it involved everything. Substations, power lines, businesses, homes. Work went on seven days a week, and 12 to 16 hours a day. A total team effort. Just like we are in natural disasters from north to south, from east to west, the NECA IBEW Powering America team can be counted on to be the other first responders. Our message to stakeholders involving the power and transmission that is the lifeblood of our country? We got this.